Hey fish and family, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well, enjoying this gorgeous weather. I am actually on the road today in South Carolina or as it's better known by some, South Kakalaka, Kakalaki, something like that. That's what happens when a northerner tries to say it. <laughs> Visiting some family uh, and hoping uh, to be able to get in a fishing session. But I thought I'd take uh, a few minutes out to uh, share with you guys what my favorite uh, kayak, kayak and water shoe is, or water shoes that I wear when I'm kayaking. And best of all, they are cross-functional and they even look great. So stay tuned. Um, I think we got a pretty good product coming up. Hey guys, I'm Patrick. And as an avid kayak fisherman and a lover of all things outdoors, I'm sure I'm like many of you um, who have tried like these cheap water shoes and quickly realized that a lot of the water shoes that uh, we've tried or we use don't really meet um, our unique use case, especially in the summertime of uh, needing a lightweight shoe, one that allows you to get in and out of the kayak, um, that can handle treks on rocky shores or um, oyster beds, and can even look good as you are uh, going to the bait store. One of the advantages of being a kayak fisherman is being able to chase those fish uh, deep in those back pockets of your favorite lake or marsh, or even uh, in a shallow creek or river. And in those cases, you really need a shoe um, that allows you to get in and out of the water can uh, I mean your kayak can traverse uh, the different types of terrain uh, can handle um, slippery rock uh, uh, sharp uh, oyster beds or sandy beaches um, and the cross kits fit that bill after using a variety of water shoes I kept running into the same problem one they never really held up over time secondly um, most of them really had really soft bottoms and I could feel every rock and pebble when I was walking across rough terrain. Third, a lot of them didn't really dry well. Fourth, if you found a good pair for kayaking, they usually didn't work well for the beach or other um, outdoor activity. And five, lastly, um, the better ones um, really were uncomfortable and really um, didn't work for uh, wearing for long extended um, time. That's when I saw a fellow fisherman, Wiley Coyote, at the Coyote Fishing Channel. You guys should check him out. Um, and he was wearing a pair of these water shoes that looked more like cross trainers. They looked really sturdy. Um, they were actually very stylish. Um, so I decided to uh, reach out to him. I think I DM'd him. Um, and he gave them a pretty good rating um, and told me what they were and I decided to give them a try. So for the past three years, I've actually um, been using the Cross Kicks Hybrid Water Shoe. It took me a while to make this video because I really wanted to um, put them through its paces and really give it a good try before I would even speak on it or recommend it uh, or recommend the product to anyone else. So I started off with the uh, Cross Kicks 2.0 closed toe water shoe. Go, uh, they, I think they call them like go anywhere water shoe. Um, and they've been like fantastic. I actually have them. Here's the first pair that I got. These are, um, I believe the color, let me check the color, is uh, Red Dawn. Um, and these water shoes um, have been just outstanding. I think the biggest plus um, for these water shoes for me. Um, like I said, they have um, an incredible soul. So um, I used to have a big problem. Um, a lot of the places where I fish, if I'm uh, getting in and out of the kayak, um, have like really rocky uh, shorelines or um, other places where I'm walking over rock that were very slippery. And these have um, a solid soul, great grip. Um, and you can see these holes on the side so they're extremely uh, quick drying, and I think that they look great as well. Um, I love the color schemes um, that they have for these shoes. And like I said, these are 
um, three years old and they have held up great. I think the only thing that I've seen recently is that you can see right here on the side here, um, this is coming off um, a little bit, but I've, I've beat the heck out of these shoes and this doesn't look like a really a big deal to just glue that little section back tight. Other than that, um, these shoes have been rock solid. My next pair came um, actually when I was planning a trip to the DR. Um, I wanted a water shoe that I can use on the beach, um, take on the boat um, when I was uh, deep sea fishing and that I could actually wear um, after a quick change to lunch and, and still have a shoe that could look good um, going to lunch and could fit all of um, those three scenarios. So, so these are the second pair that I picked up for my DR trip. I'll make a close up. So these are called the um, APX closed toe lace up shoe. So they are um, very similar to the 2.0s. Um, again, great sole, nice grip, very solidly made. Um, they have elastic um, shoelaces. Um, and again, they got the vents on the side. Uh, you can see that. And, and they're like extremely um, quick drying shoe. I don't know if the camera can pick it up inside, but there you are. Those are vents inside that vent all the way out um, the shoe. So there's no water being retained in the shoe. Um, these shoes dry very quickly um, and um, they don't hold uh, any water. And as you can see, the 2.0s, they just have a strap here that you loop over and then the APXs have the elastic um, shoelace. But again, these shoes were great. I could wear them on the beach, rinse them off. Uh, then I took them um, on the boat um, for deep sea and inshore fishing and had tremendous grip on the uh, deck of the ship or the deck of the boat without any problem. Um, then um, I hit the shower uh, changed into um, some different attire and wore the same shoes to um, lunch with, with, with my wife. So it, it, you know, filled multiple functions and held up these great support and looked good doing it. So the latest pair of cross kicks that I picked up are the new Tetras um, closed toe dry fit shoe. And these are actually the best pair yet. So Cross Kicks has created a new slip-on shoe. Um, so these uh, slip-on has a uh, inner liner. Um, it still has um, an adjustable uh, string as well. And this liner, this, this new mesh liner is so comfortable. The sole and the fit and feel of the shoe um, is even better. I don't know if the camera's picking this up well. It's either got, it's even got like a cork or an EVA type uh, insole. Um, these actually dry even faster. Um, and I think they look even better. And, and they're, they are even more comfortable than the 2.0s and the APXs. So for extended wear, um, I've, I haven't had these shoes as long as I've had the other two pair, but just in the short time um, that I've had them, I can tell you, that the new Tetras are um, way more comfortable um, than uh, the APXs and the 2.0s and far more comfortable than any other water shoe I've ever worn. Um, and they look like they, you know, they look um, like they're gonna hold up just like my other two pair. Um, and like I said, I think these are, are more stylish. So um, I wanted um, a black pair but all of these come in a multiple color, so you can get um, a color or um, a model that fits your fancy and still be able to have a multifunction shoe that looks good, that you can um, 
like I said, where as a as a normal really cross trainer, I've seen a lot of people now buying these and wearing these as cross trainers for jog jogging and uh, other uh, activities. So. Um, like I said, these are a great multifunction shoe in addition to being um, a water shoe, which was a, a big plus for me. So if you're tired of going through water shoes um, every season, um, having them not hold up over time, being uncomfortable, feeling every rock, every pebble, and um, just not looking good, not drying um, really quickly, I really suggest that you give um, the Cross Kicks a try. So either the 2.0s, the APXs, or the new Tetras, um, and I don't think you could go wrong. If you like this video and you got something out of it, um, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, drop us a comment. Let, let us know what your experience um, has been with water shoes. If you guys happen to own um, a pair of Cross Kicks, uh, drop in the comments what your experience um, have been with them. We love to uh, hear about it. I am not sponsored in any way by Cross Kiss. Like I said, when, when I find a good product, one that I use and find um, great value in, I just want to share it with the community. Speaking of value, if you guys want to get a cool discount on your first pair of Cross Kicks, I actually have an affiliate code. I'll, I'll list it um, in the description. I think it's uh, reversion a reversion 15. Um, if you use that code, you get 15% off um, your first purchase. And like I said, once you get a pair, drop us a comment, let us know um, how you like uh, your pair of cross kicks. Hey, Fish and Family, that's a wrap. Just wanted to drop um, a quick video um, showing off a product that I've gotten great value out of. I hope you get great value out of it. And I hope uh, you guys, like I said, enjoying the summer. Get out there and fish, tight lines. See you guys soon.